Good day YouTube. My name is Captain Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Today's video I'm going to show you pure signal pre-distortion setup on the Anon 7000 DLE Mark III. Hello guys, welcome to my desktop. Let me show you some of the products uh, that are available to you that you can purchase so you can operate pure signal with the Anon. Okay, bringing up some websites here. This is the six foot BNC to SMA connection that you will require. The BNC portion of this right here, that's going to be connected to your receive bypass on the Anon. And the SMA connector, that's going to be connected to your RF sampler. And we have a few of those um, available here. This website, this is the leanrf.com website. This is model RF S2K. So it has a, a variable RF sampler. You got a knob here that could uh, adjust. Okay, what happens is you, both of these looks like you got, uh, you can, travel in either directions okay so you can have one this side for example it's going to be going out to the antenna and uh, this one could be coming from your amplifier or your exciter and then you'll tap in a bnc connection here so notice that this is a bnc and behind the anon it's also a bnc so you would might you might have to change change it to bnc to bnc bnc here and change the sma to bnc so that's if you were to use this particular brand another brand that is available well not available it's out of stockman hro extronics and uh, it's similar to the other other one from RF Sampler. Um, this one's labeled the picture quality is not the best, um, but you get the idea. You got one is input from the transmitter, exciter, or the amplifier, and the other one is going to the load, your antenna. And you got two SMA connections here. One is probably for forward and the other one's for reflected. So you would want to use the the forward part, the forward uh, connection. Here's one from KM3KM website. All right, so this one, it's bi-directional. And um, you're, it also provides you with an SMA connection. From a BNC right there, BNC to an SMA connection, and that's going to be connected. This one here is going to be connected to the top of the RF sampler, and this one's going for $120. I've already have my amplifier and the anon connected, so I don't want to disassemble everything and actually show you how to connect it physically. Uh, but I'm going to show you via pictures. All right, here's the Anon, the backside of the Anon 7000. You would connect that BNC connector right here to receive bypass. Okay, you're going to do that there. And, of course, you're going to have the power connected ground, and you're going to have, if you're using an amplifier, you will use PTT out. We connect an RCA cable there, and that sends a signal that uh, allows your transmitter to transmit. But uh, and your antenna, antenna one. That's what I'm using here for my setup. And uh, so from the RF sampler, you would connect that BNC here. Okay. So this one here, that BNC connection, would be connected to the back of the anon receive bypass now the other end 
if you're using the RF2KS amplifier like I'm using here my QTH, you're going to connect the other end, the SMA connection, to the back of the RF2KS. Here's the amplifier here. There's a SMA port here called the um, minus 55 dBm, and that's where you would connect it. Right here's another photo. And here it is right here. Third photo. Once you start up Thetis, you don't need to turn on the power button. Just go to setup. And we want to select the antenna slash filters. And you want to make sure that the attenuation on transmit is checked. Force attenuation on transmit to 31 when PSA is off. PSA is your pre, your pure signal in the automatic, and that button is right here on the upper left corner. And most importantly, here you want to have the receive, your receive bypass on TX. You're using the actual port of the Anon receive bypass so that's what they're talking about when they say uh, receive bypass on transmit make sure that's checked click apply okay so now that's established now you can power on or not okay we're uh, on the 40 meter band right now open up zoom Good enough there. All right, so if I want to turn off the pure signal A, if I turn that off, watch my transmission here, the transmission uh, column, and you will see the difference with and without it. My power drive is uh, 25 watts. Tuned now. So I'm going to give a test without your signal enabled. Okay, is this frequency in use? I need to increase some power. Um, you see how I'm I'm only running about, um, well, you can't see it. It's only 10 watts of power right now. Even though the driver says 25, I'm looking at my LP100A and it's putting 10 watts N4 VFR. Is this frequency in use N4 VFR? Okay, uh, hearing nothing. And uh, I'm going to enable the amplifier now. Reduce the drive. I don't want too much power yet. N4 VFR is this frequency in use. N4 VFR. You see the edges here? That's some uh, IMD, intermodulation, virus emissions coming out from my transmission. Okay, hearing nothing. This is N4 VFR. November 4, Victor, Foxtrot Romeo, and uh, I'm driving with 15% on the drive with the RF2KS amplifier, and the LP100A is indicating 215 watts with an SWR of 1.36. This is N4 VFR testing. And to just enable the automatic pure signal, you push the PSA button now it's enabled you'll see some feedback here this feedback and pure signal 2 if that's green you're in good shape it's going to operate automatically here we go okay this is november 4 victor foxtrot romeo you saw that that feedback went to red and it was correcting and now it is corrected with pure signal enabled 
And for VFR, the columns of my transmission is uh, it's clean. I'm operating at four kilohertz wide. And for VFR, using a power of 220 watts is on the amplifier and SWR of 1.36. And my drive ex from the exciter is 15%. This is N4 VFR testing. All right, so there you go. Um, that's pure signal with the pure signal enabled. And also we did a test with the pure signal disabled. We can also use the two-tone test and the PSA auto is enabled. So I would click on the two-tone. See the transmission there, the feedback. Everything is green. And for VFR testing, November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo, your signal. Well, that's my video showing you how I set up my pure signal with the Anon 7000 DLE Mark III to the RF2KS amplifier. My name is Captain Darren. And my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day.